Walmart's national efforts to cut back hitting the store right here in our community. After years of service, a Northside neighborhood Walmart will close its doors at the end of the month. A news reporter Sierra Krug joins us live after talking with shoppers today. Sierra. Well, Heather, I've actually been the one to break the news to quite a few people today, and there hasn't been a consistent reaction. Some people were disappointed, and others gestured at a nearby food lion and said they'll just change grocery stores. A north side neighborhood Walmart shutting its doors for good at the end of July. To some, it was a convenient, accessible option that will be missed. It's a neighborhood place, so it help the community out. A Walmart spokesperson tells 8 News, out of the chain's 5,000 stores across the country, this site was one that just did not meet financial expectations. People like Victoria Hughes attest to that. She says it was never her first choice. I mean, the neighborhood Walmart suck anyway. Two miles from this Brook Road location, there's a bigger Walmart supercenter. We really don't need to come here for no fruits and vegetables because we got everything over there. On the other hand, a handful of nearby neighbors like Ulysses Benson tell us they prefer the smaller, closer neighborhood location. I mean, I'd be sad to see it go. It's convenient. It does help the neighborhood out quite a bit, and it's not just us getting stuff from the store, but also the employees. Walmart says all employees at the closing location are eligible to transfer to nearby stores, but it's still a mass relocation for many. One shopper tells 8 News he was so disappointed to hear of the closing. He's hoping the community can rally together to start a petition keeping the shop alive. Meanwhile, Hughes is thinking about what she'd like to see for the property's next chapter. Target. More targets. Walmart says they're working with landowners to develop a reuse plan, so we're not exactly sure what will be going up in its place, but we do know, barring any petitions, the store itself and the pharmacy will close permanently on July 28th. For now, live in Henrico, Sierra Krug, 8 News.